We got Matty M hey. and Timmy B with us. First time you're seeing Tim. <laughs> we're so hanging out. We are, we're going to go to Disc Traders video game store. We're going to go to a couple other video game stores. Going to go to a sports card store, maybe mix in some retail and thrift stores and pawn shops. It's a full day today. We're going to bring you guys along for the entire journey. Let's do it. Here we go. Chase, where are we going? We're going to your favorite store, Thane. Goodwill. It's the freaking worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Goodwill's around here. Thane's got a vendetta against them because it is very hard to find good stuff anymore because they send it all off to shop Goodwill. I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced that. We're still going to try to hit it because everywhere else is closed right now. And they open at 9.30, so they're closed too. So we're not going to go right now, but... It'll probably still be the first thing you guys see in 25 minutes. I look, they got all these games. Better. Yeah. Every sports game ever it's made, PS2 football. is here. Yeah, see, Tim knows. For those of you that watch the channel, you know that we're big fans of this game. And this one's a good buy, too. Never played it. Let's play that one. This one's real good. You should play it. It's fun. I'm better than Chase at it. Humble brag. Um, it's just not true. <laughs> I'm, 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 what, was the, what was the score of our last game? Uh, it might have been like nine to one. <laughs> yeah. All right, so NHL Hitch was way too scratched. So we're just getting this, but it is complete. Paying five bucks should be worth about 12 to 15. We're gonna head to the next shop. Big lots. See if they have any packs we can open. We have the What do y'all think about my mask? It's a new one. Belongs to his father-in-law. It's mine now. Sorry, Papa. <laughs> Sometimes you get the chicken. Sometimes you get the duck. What did we get this time? The duck. Why not? Let's give her a shot. He's up. Be like the one good Yu Gi Oh thing to find. What are we doing here, Chase? We are gonna bring some trade in to this traders. We've got a full bin of stuff like that. People are new to the channel, explain to them why you do this. So it's stuff that's like worth under five dollars selling individually. They might give me a buck or two a piece, and then I can use that credit to then get nicer consolidated high end items that I can easily sell quickly. So we're gonna do that, see how much we can get. Probably just bring in the trade-in right now, let them get a head start, and then come back here later. All right guys, so we just dropped off the trade-in at Disc Traders to give them a bit of a head start. And now we're gonna head to a local mom and pop card shop. Um, Tim grabbed a pack there, you'll see that being opened. He got a pretty good pull and got a couple nice cards. So let's roll into it. What sure. are we cracking? Got some Don Russ. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, we're just gonna get right with it. I'm excited. Yeah, I haven't one. opened anything in a while. It's been tough to find some stuff. What are you looking for, Tim? Hoping uh, to get. First ball, but honestly, I'm a big Pistons fan, so the <laughs> hobby guy <Shocker>. of me <laughs> wants me to just find some Pistons. I like it. <laughs> Turn around here. You know, I always wondered how they pack them like this, where you where always get a, all Yeah, why do they do that? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, nice Kawhi insert. Right, yeah, sir. I love Kawhi. Ooh. We'll oh, keep flipping I see something flipping. silver. Let's see. Come on. Hey, hey Joker. Cool. All right. That's a cool card. Yeah. Hampton, Hampton. He just yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he's great. You got a. Uh, can't pronounce that yeah, one. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a go. There we go. 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 Uh oh. So, not too topping, crazy, but hey. We'll, we'll save up some Obi Toppin. Yeah. Save up the inserts and the rooks. All right, so we did get a few things at the card shop. Two Tim Duncan Tops rookies. 
25 a piece, they're in pretty good shape. I think I can probably sell them for around 50 or 60 each. And then, Tim, we noticed, do you have the Jokic card? Boom, there it, it is. So it's actually numbered to 99. And it's about a, what, $20, selling for about 20 bucks, so. Yeah, I think that's what Thane looked it up, uh, numbered 15 out of 99. Pretty so, cool. actually a pretty awesome pull, really cool card, love the look of that, so. Yeah. Hey, a worthwhile pack. So one thing that I try to do on trips to separate towns is to make a trade and try to get it to line up exactly where we're already going to be so it's not out of my way and it works out perfectly. And on this trip I did exactly that. So we're going to roll into me trading a Fortnite Switch. I made this trade post on Facebook. And I actually have the exact trade posts I make on Patreon if you want to check that out. I have a lot of people ask how I word things, how I phrase it, and that type of thing. Check it out on Patreon if you're interested. But we're going to roll into a massive trade where I traded this Switch for a huge bundle of games. So let's check it out. Cool. The Switch is brand new. You can right. certainly open it if you want. All right. And before we, we head out. Have a good one, dude. This is everything? Yeah. Okay, cool. So here is everything from the trade. I wanted to get it all spread out so you guys can see exactly what I traded that Fortnite Switch for. And in addition to this, I got 80 bucks cash. So pretty amazing. My buy cost into it after the cash is about 240 bucks. So that is the buy cost of getting all this stuff essentially. So the first thing that caught my eye when he sent pictures was this Halo Xbox and it does have the official Halo controller. The controller alone is about a $70 controller and then the system also is the official Halo system. He said unfortunately he couldn't get it to read games but I did see a video of it powering up. We're hoping maybe just a little cleaning can get it to go. But either way that's a really nice piece and then stacks of games and I went through I got them separated in the ones that are sellable on the right so lots of nice PSP games on top and then there's stuff like NBA Street 2 uh, stuff that Star Wars Battlefront, SSX Tricky, nice sports games a uh, bunch of games that are like 10 to 30 dollars and that stuff adds up really really fast and then all these games will probably just be trade-in and I might get 40 or 50 bucks in trade-in just for those so those add up pretty quick Got a stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards thrown in. Every trade gets to a point where I'm like, do you have anything else? Can we make this work? That was one of the things in addition to the cash that I was able to get added in to seal the deal. And then the nicest part of the trade uh, perhaps was the Pokemon games with the Game Boy SP, which does work. And then the PSP also works. And those are in pretty good shape. Everything is pretty dirty and a little bit smoky smelling, which is always unfortunate. So it definitely is going to take some time to clean and get everything ready to go. This PS2 is supposed to work and the Wii is supposed to work. Both PS1s do not work, but they were just kind of throwing in. He had them. He was okay with getting rid of them. And then this PS2 Slim does work. So eight systems, five of which work, three of which will be sold for parts or fixed, depending on what we can do. Uh, but either way, I think the trade value here, the value of the stuff is probably around $600 and then plus 80 cash, so about $680 worth of stuff for $320 into the Fortnite Switch. So I'm pretty stoked with this one. And now we're gonna roll back to Disc Traders. <laughs> yeah, that's like really cool. Uh, bottom right, that'd be a court side, but middle way. Oh. Court side too? Yep. <laughs> and that is it. Oh. Yep. Nice. Found that. Right. Sports game list. I just updated it for Patreon, Patreon people. So if you want the sports game list, there's tons of sports games. Um, it's made me a ton of money reselling sports games through the years. 
They're games that you can often find at thrift stores, game stores for pretty cheap. Even paying 17 bucks for this if it's complete. Men 09, which is crazy, but all that alphabetical order buy system just updated it 2021. So if you're interested, $3 a month on Patreon. Love the support, and you can get that list included with it. 20 bucks for DuckTales and 10 for a complete herb. Is the manual in there? Oh, let's double check. Ah. Okay, but it's still good enough. At 10 bucks. $10 no holla. <laughs> oh, okay. What are we looking at? It's a Skylanders portal for Xbox One. What makes that different than the rest of them? Xbox One and PS4 Skylander stuff still holds really good value, and it's usually really cheap at game stores. Huh. It's just the most recent, the newest way to play Skylanders. This bag, you're all set. Thank you. Yeah, of course. You do the same. And we're off. All right, guys, so we did pretty well at Disc Traders. Um, they gave us $139 in store credit. You guys saw the bin of stuff. They took a good bit of it. I guessed $80, so I was pretty pleased with that. Um, then got a few freebies thrown in as well, but we'll go over quickly what we picked up. So $17, an Xbox 360 network adapter. $5, Dreamcast VMU, always good to have on hand to sell the systems. Portal 2 for 12, Simpsons Road Rage for 10, and everything is complete. Scooby-Doo for 15, DuckTales for 20, Guitar Hero, nice bundler for $4, Spider-Man, Edge of Time, good score on that one, 17, going for about 40, Madden 09, again, check out the sports game list on Patreon, a lot of these games I got, like this one as well, are on that list, NFL Street, The Herbs, Sims in the City for 10, again, sports game, Madden 12. Go back to Madden Malone. All right, I got... Cartridge games, South Park, um, Super Mario, uh, Rayman Stew, and Glover. You got some box stuff. Love it. Yep. <laughs> and then we got these two, which are Skater Die and XCRA. For Extreme eight, eight. Racing eight, Association. Eight and ten. There we go. All right. What do you got, Tim? Got a couple cartridges too. So for five bucks, NBA Course Side Two featuring Kobe Bryant. Yep. We got Body Harvest that came in at fifteen dollars. Nice. It's a GameCube game, so we got X Men Next Dimension in at five. Good deal. Robotech Battle Cry, eight bucks. Moving on to PS2 game, we've got College Hoops NC 2K. Name that player. Eight. Whoa, is that uh? Greg Oden. I was going for it. Yep. I see a TikTok <laughs> about him. Uh, NHL Blitz hits, not Blitz. Don't be confused. Yep. <laughs> 2003. One of my favorite games. That one was just 10 bucks. And then Immaculate, NCAA Football 14. Yep. Coming in at 79.99. Yeah, that's a great deal. And that one was complete as well. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I've got the freebies. So we got one of these portals for free. Current gen portals are always good. And then uh, NFL Street 3, great game. Got that for $15, but that was actually a freebie. So zero on that. Another, freebie, right on another freebie here, Pinbot, complete in box, and then Wave Racer. So those were our freebies that we got in this lot. All in all, amazing buy. Traded in some junk, got some video game gold. Yeah, yeah. And that is all that we have for today's video, guys. Thank you for coming along with us. We got Tim with us for the first time. Matt, as always. Jason Thane. Hit that like button if you made it this far, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.